I'm just starting to see it. You know, as a kid, I said, Hitler, it's a nightmare that never would happen. But now I see that it's possible. And but those people, and sometimes I run into some people who are close to my age, who are from, from uh, Eastern Europe, European countries or even Nazi Germany. And, uh, you know, they, you understand it. That's fake tough guy and real moron Robert De Niro having the courage to do what no one has ever done before. Suggests that his political opponents are authoritarian monsters. Welcome to Nerk News, I'm Nerkish, and old theater kids are having a real hard time fading into obscurity. For example, Robert De Niro has gone on several shows recently to sputter out anti-Trump sentence fragments laced with profanity, and everyone's tearing him a new one for it, especially Elon Musk. You have no upside in having this conversation, in speaking out against Donald Trump. You are making yourself a target. The interview will air and he will immediately find a reason to talk bad about you in public. Yeah. But you're choosing to use your platform to do so. What do you say to other celebrities who don't want to alienate part of their fan base, don't want to step in harm's way, but they have similar um, megaphones that you do? You know, I... The idea to be bullied at my age by someone like this is not happening. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were never bullied. No, you know, it's a kid sometimes this, that, but the point is not, and for the country, no. And I think other people are gonna have to stand up and just, because it's either that or you're gonna find yourself in a situation that's so terrifying. You, we always hear about people from Eastern Europe, the, uh, the Jews from other parts of Eastern Europe. From A minute in and we're already waist deep in propaganda. It really is impressive how they'll cry out in pain as they attack you and make themselves out to be the victim. You know, De Niro has done nothing but compare Trump to evil dictators, monsters, and sociopaths. He's even suggested that he wants physical harm done to him, but for some reason, Trump is the bad guy if he reacts in a negative way to these interviews. Which, by the way, the reporter claimed De Niro had absolutely nothing to gain from doing. Yeah, nothing except the approval of every other celebrity in Hollywood. And I think other people are going to have to stand up and just, because it's either that or you're going to find yourself in a situation that's so terrifying. You, we always hear about people from Eastern Europe, the, uh, the Jews from other parts of Eastern Europe, from Western Europe, coming over, look what happened in France with the Nazis and so on, and they come over and you hear these, and they and when I was a kid, they'd say, you don't really appreciate this country. You don't, you don't really appreciate what we, what we know from experience. Imagine what those people went through. Did you ever care this much about politics? No, I don't, I mean, I'm not, I'm sort of, not indifferent, but not, it's not my, but I'm so angry about what's going on. I don't see how it can be avoided. This is how you can tell they don't mean anything they say. De Niro is supposedly telling this woman that he thinks Trump is going to be the next Hitler or something, and she's just smiling and reacting like he's talking about how nice it is to work with Ben Stiller on the set of Meet the Fockers 6 or something. You know, the truth of the matter is, the majority of celebrities are useless narcissists who often conflate talent with wisdom. De Niro has shown time and time again that he has no actual criticism to offer on Trump beyond internet memes. He's basically the personification of Godwin's Law at this point, and everyone knows it especially Elon Musk, who recently took De Niro to task on social media for his idiotic remarks saying, well, Trump was already president for four years and his policies bore no resemblance to those of Hitler, so this makes no sense. In fact, with the Abraham Accords, he made some progress towards peace in the Middle East, which was definitely not high on Hitler's agenda. Good points. It's just a shame De Niro is too brain dead to understand any of that. But let me know what you think. Do celebrities like Robert De Niro matter at this point? Or are they just fun to laugh at? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Thanks for watching. Bye.